Hey everybody, Jim here, bringing you round two of Marching Up the Ranks, a Malifaux Vassal World Series event. With me today is my opponent. Would you like to introduce yourself? Why, I am aka Coyote, as they call me, mm -hmm. aka Kyle Bodie. Mr. Schemes himself. Or are you Mr. Stones? I can never remember. I think I'm Mr. Stones. I've also been given the nickname, because I'm a salty player, the water softener recently, so <laughs> I have all kinds of nicknames. Oh, that's phenomenal. Fantastic. Well, it is a pleasure to have you on the channel. The pool and cruise will be down in the description, along with a link to some of the things Kyle has been working on. You should go check them out. Um, <clears throat> we have Dashiell 2 versus Classic Wong today. Uh, my opponent is the attacker, has taken the left deployment zone, and I would very much like to see where your Pale Rider and Dashiell will deploy. All right. I am going to try to remember all the hotkeys, too, because I haven't been playing a lot of vassals. So last game, there was a lovely of like, nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not the right shortcut key. Nope. Yeah, well, they just changed a bunch of them in the moment. Oh, great. <laughs> so I'm still going like, ah, oh, charge lane. Nope, cloned my model. Maybe that's why I was messing up so much. I didn't realize they changed them. Oh, they changed a bunch oh. of them. That's probably why I was saying the wrong thing. Um, okay, let me think. Is that good? Is that one there? You're going to have to go there. As far as the other models go, you can go. That's fine. You go there. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. To you. All righty. Put one there. We're going to put Bo Peep. We'll have you go up here. Move Swankhurst the second down. Swankhurst the first. First of his name. Long may he reign. Put Fluffernutter conveniently there. We're going to put, <clears throat> actually, put you down here so that we can put a Sammy and an Olivia. And that'll be our deployment. All right. And I will then rest these. Actually, we'll do it this way. This is going to make a lot more sense. Do you there. Still learning this order of operation, the activation. It's not too complicated compared to like my Sonya crew, which I. Last Vassal game, I was like, oh, yeah, I totally activated that wrong. And Oof. I had to do a stupid move. I had to like walk somebody around a bunch of stuff. It's like, hmm. Yeah, I did that wrong. <laughs> okay, this should be good then. Fantastic. All right. <clears throat> so we shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Draw our hands. I, I have to shuffle three times. Okay, I'll shuffle three times. Oh, uh, I just say shuffle three times. It's a, it's a tick. <laughs> um, it feels like no matter how many times you shuffle, it's always never enough. It doesn't matter how many times I shuffle. My red joker is right next to my black joker. Well, what's that? It's the difference between accuracy and precision. 
they're very uh, yeah yeah one of those anyway um you are attacker would you like to stone for cards i am good for the moment as am i so best of luck to you i will hit the timer mm -hmm. as we flip initiative all right I, yeah all right would you like to cheat I am not going to cheat, so I will let you choose the fate. One, two, three, four, six, seven to seven. So no pass tokens, and I will take the controversial choice of activating first. All right. Uh, we are going to activate Bo Peep. Bo Peep is going to use pull up her card so I can show the folks at home what she does. We're going to use the race is on, needing a seven. You have to do the William Tell humming while you do it, though. It's required. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> All right. So it goes off. That is a pulse three. And I will declare the built-in crow trigger, which I did happen to flip, for full contact. So jockeys get to push two inches. Everyone is pushing up to three. Jockeys push up to five. Models that a jockey pushes through suffer one damage. We're going to first move Fluffernutter, who is taller than Sammy, so can be seen. Oh, I'm sorry. We both have to assign uh, strategy lodestone. Oh, yes. Uh, my orderly has it. I just oh. I, I mentally thought it, but yeah, I'm like, oh, it, right. I didn't actually mark it. Um, Fluffernutter has mine. Uh, Fluffernutter is going to go one, two, three, boop, into base contact. Going through the curse, both swine curse, which procs fast, glowy, hard knock life, and petty illusions. So I'll draw that card real quick. Doot. And we'll drop that card. Um, we'll have Bo Peep herself go one, two, three. We'll just go three. That's all we need to go. Swine cursed will go. One, two, three. Uh, more like to there. Sammy was in range, and Olivia was in range. Other Swine Cursed, however, was body blocked. So, push. And one, two, three. Also, Wong was in range, so he will go one, two, three. And he'll just bump into the building there. Clear moved. All right. So as Bo's first action, Bo's second action, she is going to charge. One, one, two, three, four, five. She's going to attack Wong and using hogwash, uh, using her, what is the ability called? Ramming Arc speed whip. to build hogwash oh, slosh in. Attacking Wong, Wong relents. I hit. I declare Hogwash Slosh. I take three cards, pick the worst. That is a weak damage. Boop. Uh, he takes two damage and is placed anywhere in range. We'll go there for reasons. Um, Bo Peep will then go Reckless. And then go one, two, three, four, five, six to there to be not easily charged, um, I'm sorry, to there to be within one of the cover. At the end of Bo Peep's activation, I dealt damage to at least two other enemy mo two other models, so I heal because of, and the crowd goes wild. <sighs> Bo Peep is done. All right. Well, I think we're just going to go with the Pale Rider. Mm -hmm. Who has a uh, poison, aka fate token? As we, uh, here we go. W. Okay, I'll try to remember W. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we're gonna start with by riding. We're gonna take Dashel for a ride, as mm -hmm. you do. As so I need is. a six. That is good enough. So he can do his five-inch push. So I'll just kind of drag and drop to there. Grabbing Dashel, who's a two-incher. Ooh, I teleported it back. We should be able to put him in range. Oh, yeah. And at least 
make you have to respond to that. And then we'll oh, go ahead. Shit. And if I shoot, you're going to squeal. I apologize. Um, yep. You have a pass token because I have a bow cord that's not on the table. Oh, gotcha. Um, yeah. The only thing that seems fair is to leave it here and not having activated or anything like that, if that's okay with you. That's fine. Yeah. All right. I appreciate that. No problem. All right. Um, then we are going to just move with the... I think I want to keep him a little safer. I can just move up and shoot you, though. That's not going to be too far off. So move one up going over him. I may have to lose an inch there. Actually, there'd be a few inches... So that would be uh, one, two, three, three. So, uh, man, that'd be like my full move to get like there. Yikes. Because I have to go up two okay. if I go that way out. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be better to go around because I can back. So, yeah, we will just go around because I was just like, that's fine. A little less safe, but a little more practical. Let's do this. Obviously, what's uh, one inch engage my assume on wall? Yes, okay, could just actually that's what I'll do. I'll go, I'll stay out of the one inch, I'll stay here. So that's one walk, and we'll just shoot Bo Peep, you'll have cover. I will. But I'm fine with that. Because if I can stagger you and make you not go anywhere next round, or make it harder for you to go somewhere, it seems fine. I would much prefer not to be staggered, thank you. But yes. Um, well, I may not be staggering you at this rate. 15. Um, currently at 8. Currently 15. Um. Let's see, I'd have to go... That's fine. I'll just miss. Oh, right. He's done. Cool. It's Wong time, everybody. He he is a model now. He's a master. He's in the game. I'm I'm so glad they finally brought him in after missing all of early three E. Mm hmm. Okay, I got that out of my system. I'll stop. <clears throat> <laughs> we are going to begin with good old fashioned Fizap. Needing a six. Mm -hmm. We will go ahead and cheat that in. We will declare Cataclysm. We're going to drop one marker here. Mm -hmm. And another marker here. Mm -hmm. Please take move 13 duels for everybody. All right. Um, let's just go with the rider. So he needs, if it's 13, it'll be a... Why is math hard? Six. Mm -hmm. He's good. Yep. Dashiell will need a eight. He's good. Um, Dispatcher will need a nine. Um, what's this do? Two damage. Um, Dispatcher, I do want to keep alive, so I will dodge that. Everybody else can take the hit. Um, Mounted Guard is that is two damage. Um, executioner, that'll be two damage. And then finally, uh, well, getting all my low cards out. There okay. we go. Let's do it again. Uh, and as a reminder for folks, I added a glowy token to Pale, Dashel, and Dispatcher because they passed. Because that's a thing that happens. All right, we'll cheat this in. We'll once again go ahead and declare Cataclysm. Same okay. targets. Rider. Um, this is going to be a lot of freaking damage. All right. Um, he's going to take it. Mm -hmm. Dashel. 
Uh, he's good. Dispatcher is good. Rider, or the mounted guard rider, um, he is good. Executioner, he takes two. Yeah. Um, I can soul stone. Are you within eight? You are. Yeah, I'll soul stone him. Mm -hmm. He will get shielded. Mm -hmm. and take no damage. That is not. Oh, Shift okay. E for shielded. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Shift E. Yeah. All right, last one. Um, do the same. Stone it. Cool. Um, when Pale to, uh, failed, he takes plus one damage and lowers his glowy by one. Okay. Because that's uh, Fizap does that. Um, you said Mounted, Dispatcher, and Dash will both passed. So yeah. uh, what we'll opt to do at this point is I will choose to discard two glowy off of Dashel and do the glow. I'm not hitting any of my friendlies, but I'll draw a card if this goes off. It does. And I'll declare protective glow because I can. It doesn't actually do anything, but if it, if I had friendlies in range, it would heal them one and give them an extra glowy. But I draw mm -hmm. a card, and then Dashiell loses two glowy. Dashiell and Pale gain a glowy for being in the range of the effect. And Wong's last trick is going to be to Cataclysm one or Fizzap one more time. And you know what? We will. Uh, we will let that fail. Okay. That's Wong done. All right. Um, let's go with the dispatcher. He is going to walk. To there. Hopefully the other one. We will then consolidate power. Uh, we will target the... I want to block the way of the other one, so we'll go to the middle executioner. So this is just pushing him towards a friendly model, so I'll just say myself is fine. Mm -hmm. So I need a five. It's fine. I don't need to do the trigger, so I don't need to cheat or anything. So he's just going to push five, which should put me in base contact, I believe. Yeah, I'll just put... Um, I can use the angle. No, appreciate that. There we go. So we'll go like that. Four. Then. Like there, they'll stop. Okay, and then we're just gonna walk in. One, two. Three. Ish. Mm -hmm. So like there, and he's done. Swine Curse the first, or actually the second, is going to go. We're going to remember we're trying to show cards to people. Oops. Sorry, folks. Um, due to inferiority complex, my Swine Curse is going to take a walk action. One, two, three, four, five, and gain a focus. And it's going to charge the Pale Rider. One, two, three, four... And change. Uh, we are pigs, but we don't have stampede. But we do have tusks, so I should be in base contact. There we go. I'll spend focus on this attack. Stat six versus your defense. Six versus six. I am a seventeen. Seventeen. And remind me, he does or does not have the lead line coat. He does not. Okay. Um, you know what? Uh, I think that I will go to yeah. We will go to a nineteen with the full power trigger, which makes my damage irreducible. 
Okay, you got it. All right, spend my glowy. The damage is irreducible, so this is a negative twist because focus cancels out hard to wound, beat you by less mm -hmm. than five. A week of two. Okay. We will attack you again because we're fast. Stat six. That is Rampage. Is this last attack or do you have another one? I have a bonus. And in theory, if I cheat a mask, I can get Onslaught. Okay. Um, we'll go up to an 18. An 18, you say? Mm -hmm. Then I think I will, in fact, go to a 20 with Onslaught. Okay. Uh, that'd be a double negative, though, because of hard to wound. Yeah. And we could too. Okay. And last uh, onslaught attack. Yeah. I have an eleven. All right. Uh, we'll go up to a da -da math twelve. A twelve. With a ram. I think I will, oh, what the heck. We'll go to this, so we will hit. It'll be a double negative again. You are reducing damage by at least one. Are you spending a fate token? I might as well, because he's going to die, so. All right, three cards. Pick the worst. And we get two. Yeah, so he goes to one. Uh, then Swinecursed is going to use... Frightening Reminder on Wong, needing a five, getting it, and Wong is going to go, oh my gosh, that's a scary pig man. One, two. Because it's a four-inch push and he is in terrain, but he is no longer engaged by Dashiell, which is the big thing. Swine curse done. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be expensive, but... All right, we'll go ahead and go with Dashiell. Mm -hmm. We're going to start by doing his bonus action. We are going to target the dispatcher as the marker. He's mm -hmm. going to be an enemy scheme marker, so I'm going to draw a card off of this. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to stone for a ram. So that's not high enough. We'll cheat that in. So that'll summon a guard patrol. Gain a pass token. That anywhere in two inches. I'm gonna put that on the other side of you, so you can take some hits. Okay, mm -hmm. and I can take a non-charged general action, so I'll just take a walk. Mm -hmm. So we'll go one, two, three, four. What's your uh, actually? What's your reach on this guy? Uh, so one or two. Star zero inch engage. Oh, okay. Well, that makes that easier. All right, so it's one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, half inch, five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to take our second action, our first actual action. Oh, I draw a card. That's the thing I want to do because I treated him as a marker. Okay. Now we're going to charge. I have Furious Charge, so I can just keep charging. And mm -hmm. so I have Rush as well, so I go seven inches. Mm -hmm. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. What's Bo Peeps? Two. Okay, so I want to go. Let me undo Ooh. that. Oh, I, th you <laughs> I think I accidentally touched it. I'll hit the back. No, okay. Is it? There we go. When you clicked on it, it made me highlight it for some reason, I think. And then I, yeah. That's wacky. Okay. Okay. And then I, yeah. So I'm just going to go up until the edge mm -hmm. and stop there. And then I am going to charge again. Mm -hmm. This time we're going to charge this way. So this is going to go. Um, We'll charge Olivia. Okay. Make sure I get the, Actually, we should use the line thing. Mm -hmm. Actually, That's Alt do, C. Yep. Alt C. Alt V to drag. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll go like there. Okay, so we'll take our attack. So this will be versus your defense. Mm-hmm. And she is defense four. And yeah, seven. Currently a seven as well with the backhand to hit you again. I will not or cheat. Offhand. Okay, um, I'll just take it. Mm-hmm. So that is a flipping three. You're not hard to wound or anything, right? No. No, she is not. Okay. All right. So that is week of three. She lives. Somehow. And I will take my other attack. I'll just attack her again. That's fine. Um, the bonus triggered attack that is. So this will be again versus your defense. Yeah. Uh, that is oh. a eighteen. You got her on a sixteen. That's a negative twist. Okay. Negative flip. That'll be two damage for that one. She is dead. Okay, so I bonus actioned, charge, charge. I have one more AP. I'm going to do draw them in. I'm going to stone for a crow. Okay. Then I need a four for this to go off. Mm-hmm. That goes off. So I'm doing the trigger to make him hazardous too. So he's going to be hazardous train. Okay. And you now have to take a move 13 duel for everything in a pulse four. Um, if you fail, you gain staggered, and I can push you towards me. Okay. So it's everything in that area. Uh, we'll do bow peep and move 13. Correct. Move so 13. Move, uh, bow peep 6. She's fine. I say that. Let me verify that. Bow peep. You're not like a crazy... Not as fast as I think. You... No, you're move 6. Good. Uh, Sammy's move 6. She's fine. Swine Curse, the first, is fine. Fluffernutter is going to fail. And Bokor will fail. Okay, so. so they will both get staggered in that case. Um, I don't need to push either of them because the ones the Bokor is just going to hit the Swine Curse and stop. And mm-hmm. Fluffernutter is already in the aura. So, well... Yeah. Yeah, and he's going to be able to push out if he wanted to anyway, so that's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. So, Hazardous, that is Dashel. Indeed. Very good. And let me just have a think. So it doesn't make it severe, which is relevant. Okay. Yeah, it's not severe, it's just Hazardous. Mm-hmm. Uh, makes the range within Pulse 4 Hazardous. Or a two hazardous, excuse me. Yeah, it's a two okay. inch hazardous aura. Perfect. Um, I will have my friend and yours, Fluffernutter, activate. I'm going to take a damage uh, to pulse uh, Rabbit Cake Quake. I take a damage and I ping a damage to everyone around me. Boop, boop, boop. So I take boop. one. Boop, boop, boop. I will draw a card because I did damage to a friendly within six of Sammy with Petty Illusions. And then Fluffernutter will opt to do nothing with the rest of their activation. Okay. And at the end of the activation, I'm within Aura 8 of Bo Peep. I damage two, enemy mo- two other models. I heal two. Okay. I'm going to go with Executioner Bob. He is going to do Trail of Gore off of the Dispatcher, treating him as a scheme marker so I can draw a card. Mm-hmm. He'll take his walk action. So, one, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Stay up there. So, I'll draw a card. Okay, then we will take a swing at Wong. I have Executioner Claw, so I ignore triggers, so you can't squeal away. And my three demon bag says you can't declare triggers either. That's fine. I don't care about that as much. So that is a... You've already gone, so I'm a 20 stat. (laughs) Yes, uh, I am not nearly at a 20 stat. Uh, I am at a 10 stat. So feel free... To go ahead, I will not cheat. 
Okay, 20 to 10. Straight flip? Sure is. Okay. So, 5 damage? I will stone to prevent. 1. I will take 4. Okay, I'll just take my second AP attack. Same thing. Yeah. 20 again. Ah, uh, this time, though, I'm at 18. You're on negative. Okay. I'm at a moderate 4. I will stone to prevent. Prevent 1. I will take 4. I uh, take 3. Yeah. And he be done. And... I should have healed 2, because I dealt damage to at least 2 of your models with Wong from Bo Peep at the end of his turn. I forgot it. I'm not going to apply it. Oh. That is on me to remember. We are going to have Swine Cursed, I think, activate. The second. Mm -hmm. He is going to use... Um, how do we want to do this? I th Yeah. Or do we just walk away with Sammy that way? No, I think we go with the bow core. Yeah, we're going to go with the bow core. Because I need to put some heals into Wong. Um, Makes sense. I could consolidate power myself. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two and a half, three. That's enough to get the heal. So I'll start by pulsing out from our original position. Um, protective spirits needing a five. Uh, I don't get it, but I will lower my glowy by one. Cheat this card in, declare surge, draw a card, and shield it on fluffer and swankerst. Walk, walk, last action, I will heal Wong. And I get it, and Wong will heal two. Boop, boop. That is a book or done. Okay. I think we want to do. Oof, that's probably going to be the long way, but. We'll go with the mounted guard either way. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do some quick movement checking to see. If we do that, it's probably not better. Although, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, if I want to go over this, I got to do the. What is it? Yeah, if you get like there, that's basically the entire move there. And then, yeah, I'm fine with that. So he's just going to walk, walk to there. And then he's going to try to ride with me, taking the executioner to move him ever so slightly out of the way. Mm -hmm. So I need a six. Goes off. So I'm gonna go five. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. And we'll drop him on this side. And he is done. Okay. We're going to try some next level shenanigans. I'm going to have Sammy activate. Sammy's going to take a walk action. One, two, staying in your engagement. Mm -hmm. uh, taking one hazardous. Taking a Unless hazardous. you have shielded. You didn't have shielded on her. She did not. However, she took a damage during a friendly activation and will draw me a card because of okay. heavy illusions. And then I'm going to go very silly. I'm going to take two more damage, one for Concentrate, and one to spend the Concentrate to Jinx the Pale Rider. Uh, concentrate okay. to get around Concealment. 
I will take the hit on the guild patrol. I'll Indeed. discard a two. So it's going to shift over here. And uh, here we go. You can attack yeah. my willpower or defense? Willpower. willpower. I have okay. 18. Cool, I'm an 18 too. Excellent. Not where I wanted to see my red joker. I will declare Glimpse the Void. Um, oh, makes uh, sense. Three co- We're tied, so it's three cards. Focus puts it to two cards. Please take moderate two and gain an injured. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I hit it right. And then a willpower 14 duel, which is effectively 15 because of injured. Yep. Uh, that's not high enough, so I get buried. You are buried. Um, Sammy is done. At the end of her activation, she damaged one enemy model. She heals one because of Bo Peep. I'm going to close Bo Peep's aura if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Barry. Hopefully I don't forget that you're a model that exists. All right, um... So whenever I activate with this one, mm-hmm. I take another duel, or is this no. not a... This is, that is Pine Box. For this, when it's activated, I unbury it within one inch of one of your models anywhere on the board. Okay, so you'll just throw it back at the orderly. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so pointless to kind of do that because, well, I mean, you can just then walk, walk, walk. Basically triple walk. Yeah, let's go with the Executioner first, and then we'll worry about him later. Mm-hmm. So we're going to just do a walk first. One, two, three, four, five. And we are then going to Trail of Gore walk off of the Dispatcher. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Get both of them in. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'll draw a card from the trail. And then we will just take a swing at Wong with Executioner Claws. All right. Yeah. 16? Currently at a 11. Um, Okay. That'll miss. Excellent. He is done. You have Orderly and Guard Patrol left. I have Swine Curse the First left. Swine Curse the First is going to... His card. I think we're going to target Dashel with heroic intervention. Um, but I heard they were cowards. They are not cowards. But let's see if he is angry about... Th- oh, wait, it's built in. Never mind. He is... I'm no coward! Uh, there's no one within an inch of you that I wish to push. I lose my shielded for the push effect. And I go up to... I'm going to push to here into base contact with you. Yep. I will then take a damage to attack you. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I take the damage after resolving the action, so I will not draw the card until after the attack. Oh, but- okay. Here's the attack. Yeah. Stat six versus your defense. Yep, six for six. I have a 13 with Rampage. I have a 17. You do. I will not cheat. Okay. I take a damage. I draw a card from Petty Illusions. I am going to Frightening Reminder Sammy, needing a five. I get it. I take a damage. She's Sammy. frightened is very frightened. She goes, oh my gosh, look at how scary that swine dude is. Goes up there, takes her damage. It is not from a friendly effect, so I don't get hard knock life. And I think at this point, there's no value in taking further actions. So I'm going to uh, be done with my activations, done with uh, its board is yours. All right, where are you going to pop my guard patrol out? We're going to put that guard patrol based on Sammy's card. 
like here. Okay. Uh, let me make sure it's a not in mm-hmm. not in base. Within one inch, you would think with all the terror I play, I would know this, but <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Perfectly fine. All right, I am going to walk. Five, and then we will creep along towards the pale rider. Need a six. Well, well, that's fine. Not the worst thing. The black, so she is done. And then I will go with the orderly. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to walk up to the strategy marker. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. Four. Touch there ish and then we will just take a focus as the other Mm -hmm. and be done all right end of the turn uh shielded drops off my models and all your models goes away and that or is gone i have no push shenanigans i claim this marker you claim the top left yep um is it not control? Oh, it's control N. Yeah. Reshuffle. I will discard this, 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 and this. Because my hand was great. My hand was fantastic, too. Good. I will discard a five, a three, a three, and a six. Nice. Um, and I went first last turn. Um, so I will have to choose to stone first. Time check. We are at 36 minutes. So making good time. I will stone for cards this turn. I will keep my hand. I'll put that in there. And that in there. All right. Um, initiative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Currently an eight to your four. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that I think this is going to be the turn that matters. So I'm going to go first. Unless you wish to tie me with the Red Joker. I am not going to tie you with the Red Joker. So you may go first. All right. Wong time. Uh, Wong is going to start. That's the second Red Joker out of your hand this game. Noted. (laughs) Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um Wong is going to start by doing the glow. He's going to lower Glowy off of the mounted guard and Sammy to draw a card off of this if it goes off. It does with the trigger. So everyone in Pulse 6 gains a Glowy. And I'll just take care of that. I don't think I have line of sight to the dispatcher. Uh, yeah, I would say you do not. Um, you gained, sorry, you also gained two fate tokens on pale. Oh, yes, correct. And then my friendly whizbang in range heal and gain an extra glowy. Now, Wong Fize- uh, draws a card because he reduced. Oh, where were we at past tokens, too, real fast? I apologize. Oh, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, eight. I'm so- Still at my eight. I have seven. So, okay, so you get one. Okay, yes. continue. Because mm-hmm. you had one and then you summoned one. I summoned, yeah. So. All right, uh, Fizzap. All right, uh, we will cheat this in for it to go off. And we're going to drop one marker here, such that the marker can hit the dispatcher. And the other one, we're going to throw right here. Um, Swine Curse is going to choose to auto fail, taking a damage, fast, glowy, and draw me a card from Petty Illusions. Mm-hmm. Wong doesn't care. Go ahead and take your tests on your friends. All right, I guess we'll go with the Pale Rider first. He is good. All right. Dispatcher is uh, one shy. I think I'm just going to have to cheat all these, aren't I? I'll take the two. Uh, that him. becomes four because you have two glowy on you. Oh. Yeah, it does damage equal to two plus your glowy if you fail. Oh. Ouch. 
Um, is it worth cheating it? Yeah, I'll cheat it. Okay. Wow, that's really painful. Uh, People say he's bad. All right. Um, the executioner, the one next to the pale rider, first. Mm -hmm. uh, he's good. All right, going down. The next executioner he is going to take two plus one for three. So three. Does that make the glow go away? Yes. Or is it st okay? It burns um, the glowy when he does the damage. Um, this am I within blood. eight of Dashel? I will go ahead and stone. Okay. Eat all my stones, but oh well. So that'll prevent one of it, so I'll take two and gain shielded. Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, shielded. Okay. And then the rider, or the guard, mm -hmm. uh, he'll take two. Plus one. So three. Let's do that again, shall we? Uh, goes off cataclysm we'll drop this one here so that i'm not hitting my swine cursed mm -hmm. and you need line of sight if i to yeah, drop we'll, we'll throw it there okay i mean you can still yeah you yeah. can still do it but no that's fair all right okay um guess we'll do the rider again he is good mm -hmm. at least he's gonna live uh dispatcher uh, Oh, he's good. All right, nice. All right, everybody else can eat it. Uh, <laughs> executioner. Okay, that's going to be three four damage. damage. Four damage. Oof. All right, takes four. Man, it long does a crazy amount of damage. Yeah. All right, uh, next dispatch or next uh, executioner mm -hmm. is good. And the final rider, he is good. That's exactly 13. This is a seven. All right. Uh, one last fizzap. God. Hey, cataclysm. <laughs> Same targets, please. Yep. All right. Let's do the rider. He's good. At least he's going to live. Uh, dispatcher. I'll get a card back out of him. Mm -hmm. So it's probably worth it. Yeah. Keep him alive. Oh. Um, all right, I'm going to take two on the Executioner. I don't have line of sight to dash. I'm probably not, I'm definitely not an eight anyways. All right, so he's good, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, the next one is just going to have to eat it. Unless he flips, oh, man, now you're going to just burn all my higher cards. Okay, uh, Rider, finally, or the Mounted Guard Rider. Mm -hmm. And they're all good. All right, that's Wong done. He did do damage to at least two enemy models. He heals two. Uh, All right. Bo peep. All right. Uh, that was Wong. Okay. Well, I think I have to do the equal amount of crushing people with my master. So we're going to go with Dashiell and just try to kill a bunch of stuff before they get a go as well. That's so really we're going to beat this swine curse down. So this is going to be with his axes. Okay. Um, I don't need to stone or anything. No, I think I'll just take the attack. That'll be fine. All right. Defense six. Oof. Okay. Well, I'm hitting at a... Uh, no, I missed because you flipped a card. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's do it again. At least the black's out of the way. Yep. Okay. That is a... Uh, 18. That's an 18. I have a 14. I will not cheat. 18 to a 14. Do you have any kind of reduction of any sort for damage? I have infused body. I can spend glowy on a one-to-one -one basis for damage reduction, like super shielded. So I have to do six damage to kill you? Yes. Okay. That's expensive, but we'll do it. Um, we'll cheat in to get the offhand strike to attack you again. Okay. Okay, so it'll be a minus flip. Mm-hmm. So for week of three, I will choose to spend my glowy to go to one damage. Okay. Then we'll take the offhand strike. Seventeen. That is. We'll go. I need, yeah, that's fine. Because I can do that. Yeah. Uh, we'll go to nineteen. Okay. Nineteen to seventeen. Negative twist. And mm -hmm. minus one to damage, so two damage. 
Yep, two damage. Okay, so that gives me one more AP. Man, that black choker sucked. Mm-hmm. All right, um, I can easily just second slice kill you, but then I won't be able to do anything else. I will mm-hmm. get a pulsed out focus, I guess, to my people if I hit that. Mm-hmm. Because it's built in. Yeah, I guess it's better than nothing. That's a little disappointing, but all right. Um, yeah, we'll just second slice. So I need a six. Mm-hmm. That goes off. So schwink. Okay. Uh, both you and Fluffer get hit. So this is when I realize, rereading Fluffer's card, that Fluffer is immune to shockwave pulse and blast effects because of evasion. Oh, that's fine. But yeah, uh, you kill the swine cursed, which causes them to grow or to to shrink into their Bruce Banner form. Uh, I will summon a Bayou Gremlin in base contact, and then enemy models in Pulse 2 suffer one Oh, damage. does that actually count as me killing it? Yes, it's a summon. Okay, okay. it's a summon. Okay. No, okay, we, so don't, I get we don't get a mounted guard nonsense. Uh, but I'm going to put him right there. Okay, it's just Q. Okay, shift Q. Q. No, it's not. Oh my goodness, I'm going to hit every wrong key again. Okay. And Control Q. Yeah is burning so shift q is distracted oh because it's the same thing yeah because you're going up oh that's what okay that's why i'm getting so confused it's the same button now Mm -hmm. okay anyways um i have my bonus action all right well there is a corpse marker i can remove Mm -hmm. and i can heal or summon a guard patrol off of it um, do you need to heal? No, I do not need to heal. <laughs> but it's like, do I want to try to get the guard patrol? Um, I might as well go ahead and flip it and eat the corpse marker, though, and try to take a non-general action. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so I need a five. Got it. I got the trigger for the guard, so I'll go ahead and summon a guard patrol. All right. I'll get a pass token. And you do have a pass token from the bayou. They do activate. Okay. So I'll get one, and I'll put that within two. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's put you up here to engage Bo. Bo could probably push out, but we'll go with both of them. So I can move up. Got it. All right, dash will be done. Okay. Not nearly as exciting as I was wanting. Uh, Swine Curse time. Swine Curse the second. Swine Curse the second is going to attack the Pale Rider. Yep. That's a 17 with Onslaught. You got it. I can't save him. All right. Um, you're at a 9. 17 is a straight to negative because of hard to wound. Are you spending your fate tokens? Doesn't matter. I can't reduce it below 1. Ah, uh, well, bonk. Yep. And then I am engaged by your friendo, so I'm going to heroic intervention on your Mr. Bob. Is that Bob? That's that Sam. 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 I'm going to heroic intervention on Sam. Get it. And I'm no coward. I'm going to push Wong. One, two. That way. Um, let's see. Five away from the target. So actually, I don't think that's technically away because I'm not drawing line of sight to your base. So let's do it this way one two three four five so i'm still engaged by bob but i'm out of sam's engagement i push up to six towards you so that's one two three boop to there and take a free attack yeah that is a 17 i don't know that's not 17 good lord that's a 15 Okay, I was like, "Wow, that's a really good stat." Um, I'm a, I am a sixteen. I will meet you at sixteen with the mandatory irreducible trigger. Okay, I'm hard to kill, so. You are. I just. I have to declare triggers. Yeah. Because I'm pig, so I lose a glowy. Uh, three cards, pick the worst, and do moderate of four. Okay. And then I'm fast, so one last attack. Okay. Yeah. 12. 12. How does 14 with Onslaught sound? You got it. You have infinite cards. <laughs> uh, here we go. And that's moderate four. 
Yep. Then we are going to um, Frightening Reminder Wong. Ooga Booga. He is not Ooga Booga'd. Swinecurst is done. Okay. They really benefited from the errata. Alright. Um, can I actually kill Wong? Not without the dispatcher there. So I... There's zero for the swine curse, so if dispatcher's not engaged. That is correct. Okay. Um, dispatcher's gonna go. Just, yeah. Oh, uh, real quick. Um, I can see swine curse with bow peep, so I do heal to full. Okay. Just trying to be better about remembering that and saying it out loud. Mm hmm. So. Um, actually, my L, yeah, I can move back one, I guess. Instead of going quite that far, go there. Okay, and we'll try consolidating power on the guild patrol to mm -hmm. yank it towards us. So I need five, uh, that goes on. Mm -hmm. So I need to go oh, four inches. Or and dispatcher's done. Cool. I'm gonna have Fluffer activate. Fluffer is going to be very sad that I don't have uh, unimpeded on my mounted models. One, two. I do a trample. Three, four, five. Four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five to there. And then I am going to do my three inch pulse uh, and down so that I'm within three of the bow core. Uh, Carrot Cake Quake. I take a damage. Everyone in range suffers one damage. Boop, boop. Um, it's, it's okay. I'll have ended it so I don't hit Bo Peep because she does care about that. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. And I draw a card from Sammy because of Petty Illusions. And at the end of Fluffernutter's activation, I heal one because I damaged a bunch of models. I hit heal two, but that's all I have. Fluffer's done. Okay, um, we'll just go with the Executioner. Um, we will trail a gore off of the Dispatcher, mm -hmm. and we will go ahead and burn focus to try to get some more extra cards. Hopefully we'll hit something good, mm -hmm. and we will attack Wong. No! 17. Okay, I will take the... Uh, he has gone, so I am at 19. You're at 19. So you will hit. Okay, 19 to a 17, but focus puts me in a straight. Yes. Okay. For four damage. Stone to prevent. My last stone. Hey, take one. Okay, and draw a card. All right, we will swing again. 16. We will tie you at 16. Mm, I will cheat to pass. Man, you've had god hands. All right, I have this true. You draw a yeah, crap that, card. Yeah, that's, that's Wong's thing, is he draws a poop ton of cards. All right, um, last swing. 11? I'm also at an 11 with a 7 stat. With execute trigger. That's right, you have a... Oh, I can't do triggers, though, so... Mm -hmm. Just an 11. 13? Um, we can tie you at 13. Okay. So, let's flipping three. Come on, red. No, we get three. Boop, boop, boop. All right, he is done. Um, I think it is time for a Bokor to Boko. Bokor's going to... 
do healing energy on Wong. I get it. And I'm not going to declare the healing pulse trigger because I don't want to heal your friend. Wong heals too. I'm going to do my bonus action to pulse out shielded to nobody. Uh, actually, to Fluffernutter. Uh, but I am going to lower my glowy for the surge trigger to draw a card. Fluffer gains a shielded. I will heal Wong again. That does not go off. I will attempt to heal Sammy with my last action. I will fail. Bokor's done. Um, let's just go with the guard patrol and try to kill the bayou to eliminate that activation. Then I don't know what I'll do after that. So, um, step four versus your probably four? I'm pretty sure we're three. Okay. Uh, miserable is the, I think, the legal term. I think that's crit oh, strike. It is four, so I'm at eight. And you have uh, 14 with crit strike. So straight yep. flip. I'm not cheating for a Bayou Gremlin. I assumed. So uh, three damage, or four damage with crit. I am incredibly dead. I do draw a card because I'm expendable. Okay. Of course you would. Because <laughs> you need all the cards. I, um, I <laughs> let's go ahead and then... Reap along towards the executioner. Because I think this is going to be better to tie that up. So uh, I need a six. Mm -hmm. Fails. Okay. It just fails. Okay. Um, I guess then we will smack Bo Peep because I can't do anything else. So. Reasonable. Uh, probably a miss because I'm only a nine. Uh, I'm at a ten. Yep. All right. Done. Okay. Speaking of, let's go with Bo Peep. Um, oh, and I will pick up a scheme, a corpse marker. Yes. Uh, loot the corpses. Yep. That is going to be a huge boon for you. Um, I'm going to declare a charge. I'm going to go one, two, three to like here ish. And I will attack the guard patrol. Um, actually, I'm going to end here-ish, so I'm outside of engagement from bat, uh, dash roll, but I'm going to stampede to do a damage to the guard patrol. Oh, okay. And then I will take the, um, then I was dealt damage during a friendly activation, so Sammy draws me a card from Petty Illusions. Then I attack Guard Patrol with my charge attack. I will build in a mask on the attack. Uh, guard Patrol is at below half its maximum, is not at half its maximum health or below. Ignore me. Stat five versus your defense, plus one because of my charge bonus. I'm at a 19. I'm at a 17. Okay. 19 to 17, declaring hogwash slosh. That'll be a negative twist. That is a week of two. Okay. And then I place you there. I think I am now in range to... Let me read this because how often do we toss the football anymore? One inch. So I'm probably not actually in an inch of Fluffernutter. I am not, because I'm good at this game. Me too. <laughs> uh, Bo Peep is going to, however, have plenty of tricks up her sleeve. We're going to race is on, needing a 7. That's not a 7, but that is. And I will declare full contact. So Pulse 3, this model, and friendly models in Pulse 3 get to push up to 3. Jockeys can push up to five. I'm going to push Fluffer Nutter. Or I'm going to push Sammy, rather. One, two, three. I'm going to push Fluffer. One, two. To about there. Wong is going to go. One, two. Uh, there, because he actually goes half at that speed. 
and then Bo Peep will go uh, one, two, three, and ending there. Bo Peep will go reckless, suffering a damage for an extra action, and then we'll toss the football to Sammy. End of Bo Peep's activation, I damage two models, I heal two. Okay. Let's go ahead and go with the guard patrol and shoot Sammy. Seems like a thing. Sammy's only defense five, and you have not gone with her, so that's four correct. versus five. Um, yeah. But Let's go ahead and take the shot. Uh, you are, yeah, and I don't have bigger they are, so uh, my flinch doesn't matter. I'm at eleven. I am at an eight. That'll just miss. Try it again so mm -hmm. I can creep along to move. There we go. That's a good shot. Ooh. Um, that gives you adversary guard two on a trigger. Okay. Um, I don't think so. Okay. You've cheated so many spheres this game. Uh, All right. Um, I get it. I let's. Get it. Go ahead and creep along. Do I care if I go towards the dispatcher? I don't know if that matters. Yeah, we're fine where we're at. She's done. Okay. Uh, Sammy's going to activate. Sammy is going to attempt to jinx the guard patrol. Stat six versus your willpower. Mm hmm. That's a 16. Yep. Declaring under pressure. Mm -hmm. um, negative twist. You're willpower four, right? Yeah, I'm willpower four. All right, so straight flip. Uh, one damage, injured one, and then I push you two inches away from me. And it, can I get you into that terrain? Do, do, no. Womp womp. And then I'm just going to walk. You have just the mounted guard uh, on this side. and the orderly uh, if the orderly is not going for a strategy marker i don't know what orderly is doing um sammy's gonna walk and be in base contact with her six inches of movement to go right there and then i am going to do a silly thing i am going to Jinx the Swankhurst. He's going to relent. I hit him. I do not declare any triggers. Uh, do one damage to him, an injured one. Boop, boop. Oh, no. Uh, shift, oh. E, control shift E, gains a glowy, draws me a card because of petty illusions. And at the end of the turn, I heal two because I damage two other models from Bo Peep. Sammy's done. Okay. So Bo Peep's the one that's doing all this extra healing. Yes. Um, okay. Bo Peep so has... you have to kill Bo Peep. Okay. Oh my I gosh, yes. I displayed that. Okay. Um, I didn't realize she did all that healing. Okay. So that's why I lost this game. Probably lost this game. All right, um, orderly's going to go. It's going to try to creep along towards the guard patrol. I believe I have line of sight there. Looks like I do. Yeah, you do. It doesn't even go that far. But yeah. Okay, so I need a six. Okay. I guess I still may need that kind of... Go like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Where can I get so I can go 12? Oh, yeah. So let's just do the boring thing. Double lock. Or I could go on the opposite side of this. What do you have left that I have to worry about? Um, this turn, I don't think I have anything left. Okay, so I can just tag the middle one and I'm fine. Okay. One. Well, that's not what I want to go into. Copy. So like one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And I can just charge Sammy and then stand next to it. Sammy doesn't want to squeal. You don't have anything that's going to like hit me back or move me if I hit no, you. No, we don't do have you? I don't have um like repost style triggers. Okay. All right. All I'll have so, is uh, and you're step 5 so I won't even have a flinch. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We're just going to go to be, you know, the exact. Actually, yeah, I'm a bunch. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, you, you have an inch engagement now. <laughs> you can actually engage people. I know, it's nice. All right, um, let's go ahead and grapple you. Okay. Yeah. Now I get all my cards. Uh, 18. Hmm. Let me look at your card again. You have a three damage cap. It gives staggered. 18, I have a 12. You're on a straight flip. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, it's four moderate of two, and you gain staggered, and is anything in range to do this hold down thing? I hit it. Or wait, did I? Oh, God, no. I didn't announce it anyway, so uh, whatever. No, the... uh, it's two damage, though. Yep. Right. Uh, he is done. Because he walked, let me delete the old one. Let's see, crept, walk, charged. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have the mounted guard. So, I think the play is to try to kill Sammy here. You can re does, can she reduce glowing, or is it just the swine curse that reduces glowing just to reduce damage? Curse. Okay. If I go one, two, three, four, not on top of you. you Four, five, five, six, seven. I should do I have a line. Your swine course may actually. Uh, if I if I do the push, I should have a line for a charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll just walk there. We'll then do our push. Six. Nope. Not gonna happen. Can't hit it. All right. Um. Well. That's unfortunate. I don't think I can get a line without crossing your swine burst, and I have to be in base contact. All right, I guess we just charge Wong then instead and hope for a red joker. Mm -hmm. All right, so one, two, three, four. All right, uh, burn focus. All right. Yeah. Uh, I have a 16. Nope, that misses. Cool. Um, so that's that. Um, end of the turn? Yep. Alrighty. Um, at the end of the turn, I just have to have a think real quick. Um, we are going to both score the center. I went first, so I have to choose. Uh, we both score the strategy. I would have to reveal schemes first because I'm attacker. I will choose at this time not to declare any schemes. Do you have any schemes to declare? I do not have anything to declare. Okay. Then uh, we're going into turn three. Time check. We are at one hour eight. Now I'll discard that card, that card, that card, and that card. Okay. I will discard the one card I have. Shuffle the four. Please don't have a red joker in your hand this round. And a bunch of high cards. Good God. <laughs> I'm I, like I, I people think I kid when not like people have awesome hands against me, but No, I, I am I am I am people, I'm People speaking. have awesome hands against me. Uh, I mean, it ha it it's it's astonishing, really. Um, but anywho, I have no stone, so I can't stone for cards. Do you wish to stone for cards? I'm okay with my hands. Then it is time to flip initiative. Yep. I am currently a nine because I have a pass token. But it'd be an eight effectively for cheating purposes. Yes, and I have an effective six, so 
Go to effective 15. A red Joker from you ties it. You got it. And Wong's going to decimate my crew. Time oh my to god. Rain fire with Wong. Um, Wong's first trick is he is going to um, zap, but he is going to use uncontrollable magic. Instead of dropping a shockwave, he can center a shockwave on a friendly whiz bang within range. They suffer one damage, and the TN of the resist is plus two. I'm going to center that on the swine curse number two. Go take a damage, gain a glowy. I'm sorry. First, I have to get Fizap to go off. And I will cheat this in for it to do so. So that's the first Fizap. Um, Sammy is going to elect to fail, uh, which will do a da Come on. damage, fast, glowy. I'll draw one card from, what's it called? Petty Illusions after this. But it's plus two to the TN for orderly and mounted guard. And my other shockwave is going to go here, such that it hits dispatcher and Bob. Um, and uh, bear with me just a moment. I would like to pause the game. My mother is calling, and she does not normally call at this time. If that is okay, okay with you. that's fine. All right, pausing the recording. Okay, and we're back. All is well. Um, where were we? Um, I was dropping the marker. Okay, yes. So orderly, um, mounted guard, dispatcher, Bob. Yeah. So. All right, um, I guess we'll just go with the orderly. So this is, it's just the higher TN for the top two yeah the top two so theirs is okay. a move 15 okay so i need a nine for the orderly yeah i'll take two mm -hmm. okay and the mounted guard he's good he's good <clears throat> then the bottom two the executioner is going to take And it's only a 13, though, so I only need a lower stat. Um, yeah, we'll cheat that one. The dispatcher's probably just going to die. No, he'll he just lives. flip it. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and fizzap again. Um, that's going to fail. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do um, the glow. And as a cost, I'm going to lower four glowy off of Sammy, which would be drawing two cards. And I'll draw one glowy off of each of, the, of Bob and the rider. So I'll draw three cards off of this if it goes off. It does go off. But I would cheat this card in, which is the heal friendly whiz bang, and give them a glowy. Bo Peep, everyone else in range gets a glowy. Uh, so Orderly gets a glowy. Sammy heals one, gets a glowy. Swine Cursed heals one, gets a glowy. Glowy and glowy. And then I will draw three cards. Now Wong is going to do one more for Zap. And he gets it, and we will declare Cataclysm. We are going to drop the second marker. Can I hit these two? I mean, I cannot. I can hit both of them. But does that matter? When I could drop the other marker and possibly one-shot the orderly, yeah. So we'll drop that up there. So orderly, rider, Bob, and dispatcher take a 13 test. Okay. Um, all right, orderly. Oh, sorry. Um, which one's taking the 13 test? The orderly and... It's all 13s. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, I got you. I see what you're saying. Yeah. All right. So orderly is good. So uh, guard is good. Bob is going to get nuked. Um, he'll go to one. Is this the last action? This, this is the last of Wong's actions. I just eat it and go to one. I need to, then I'd have to immediately go with him. I will cheat it, I guess. Then we'll let the des dispatcher. All right, um, then I need a nine. Um, yeah, it's worth cheating. All right, we'll keep him up. Yeah. Okay, um, that's Wong done. Wong dealt damage to two other models. He heals two. Like you just draw so many cards, dude. Like, and I, I get it. I get this crew is beatable. It's just you have to hit them and not have like I needed to get the kill earlier when you got the. Yeah. It basically it came down to you stoned and prevented three on that one. Yeah, because I think I could have gotten the kill if you didn't do that. But mm -hmm. it's just brutal when it works and everything's going off. It's brutal. Mm -hmm. And this is partially why Wong had to have his shockwaves put on a trigger. Because could you imagine if I just banked three moderate tomes and just had surge on all three shockwaves? Yeah. Well, it it feels like almost Cataclysm shouldn't be built in mm. um, at this point. Like, as much as you're doing, like... I don't know. I think... Uh, personally, I think... Well, we should play. Let me... I'll bitch about it later. <laughs> um, um, all right. So let's go ahead and go with... I guess we go with dash on kill Bo Peep. I gotta, I gotta wreck stuff because if I don't get stuff done, it's that, or I could go with try to kill the Bo Core because I gotta kill your stupid healing so you can stop doing that. Because if I stop, but I don't think I can get there. I mean, I guess I could ride with me out and maybe have an angle. I'd have to check and then charge the Bo Core. That would at least tie you up so you want to get the heal. But then you just go with what? I mean, the orderly is probably dead then. He's probably dead anyways. I could just try to kill Sammy. Which, at a 5 stat... I'm not getting my shielded on a 5 stat. Yeah. I got two shots. Do one and one, or that'd be the only play. It's a she. It's at a. I'd have to have a six stat in order for you to get it go up. Correct. Your stat has to be higher than my resist. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's go with the orderly, as we got focus on him, and he's right there. And try to get the kill. This feels like a thing that may help me if it goes off. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we will go ahead and burn focus and hope that helps. Mm -hmm. All right. So orderly takes his first action swing versus your defense. I have a 10. You have a joke. There we go. Okay. Red Joker puts me at, I will do hold down. Mm -hmm. So a friendly will get a shot and I will be at 19 to your 10 is a straight Positive. So, positive, positive with focus, yeah. So um, I just need to do three. You don't have any rant damage reduction or anything, correct? I do not. Okay, I will just cheat to kill you then. Um, we will just go to severe of three. You have killed Sammy. Blah. And I'll put her corpse there. Swine Cursed picks up my stuff. Yep. Okay, and then I will creep along, but that's not going to get me anywhere I need to be. I position this and I die. Can I? No, it's not going to work that way. All right, we're just going to run up north. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you want to hunt me down, so be it. Mm -hmm. He is done. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is... Well... Realistically, I'm not sure 
what I can do to prevent Dashiell from eating at least one model, if not two. Ah, that's what I can do. I will activate Bo Peep. Bo Peep is going to start with the races on. Uh, not yet, actually. I lied. Bo Peep is going to charge eh, to there and attack the mounted guard. I will build in the mask because I like that. Uh, stat 6 for sure defense. And you are below half wound, so I get a positive on this duel. Because okay. barbed whip. Yeah. 18? 15. You got it. All right. Hogwash slosh. 18 to 15. Negative twist. That is a moderate of 2. Okay. Um, I will put you... Here, I am going to use uh, now the race is on. I need a seven, boop, and declare full contact. So I am going to push Fluffer Nutter is going to go five, and it's going to go uh, one, two, three, four, four, three, two. One, two, three, four, five to there. I'm going to push through the mounted guard. One, two, three, four, five, doing a damage to you. So that'll kill. Uh, 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 Soulstone prevent it. <laughs> prevent, get shielded. All right. Uh, Swine Cursed pushes up into. So I'm hitting the rocky. That's uh, right there. And then Wong will push one, two, three, also into base contact with you. Um, and then I have, uh, I'm going to go Reckless, boop. And then I will attack the Mounted Guard. Positive mm -hmm. twist. Only stat five now. Okay, I'm a 12. I am at a 14 with Hogwash Slosh. You got it. All right. Um, negative twist. That is moderate of two. Okay. And I I'm, become a guards. But I do place you. Ah, that's actually a really good question. Place the target anywhere within two inches of this model. So I normally you wouldn't do it if I'm dead, but I would replace. And so you're still the same model. Are you still the same target? I would think so, because you inherit all game conditions, game status effects. Probably, but yeah, honestly, I don't know the rules as far as like how that would work, but I'm fine if you want to place that instead. And then you gain a shielded, or no, no, you ate the shielded, but you do gain four glowy, because you had those tokens. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to throw you up there, mm -hmm. just on the edge. Bo Peep will then heal one because that's what Bo Peep does. Bo Peep's done. Okay. And that was Bo Peep. Fluffer Nutter hasn't gone, so Correct. I probably want to kill that. This would be nice. Um, let's go ahead and go with the Executioner, though. We are going to charge if I can get in range. Let me see if I can get there. I can go through two and a half. The two inch reach. So copy. If I go one, two, half. Yeah, I'll get there. Friendly reminder, Wong is disguised because of two gremlin and a ghillie suit. So uh, he cannot be so... attacked the Alright, we'll trail gore walk. Mm-hmm. Oh, but you... Oh, you're above half wound, so you don't ignore the cost. That's right. Okay, so I'll draw the card then from doing the walk action. Trail. Then I will go ahead and take a swing at Wong. Wong is at a 16. 
I am at a less than that. We will go to an 18. Um, hmm. 18. No, thank you. Third red joker from hand. All right, Um, right, let's go ahead and swing again. Is that 14? 17? You got it. I'm done. All right. Um, we are going to uh, yeah, I think we're going to activate the swine cursed um hmm. not the swine cursed. We're gonna activate fluffer nutter. Fluffer nutter is going to carrot cake quake. Just take a damage and then do a damage in pulse three. So guard patrol dies? Question mark? Uh, yeah. Oh, I also would, uh, um, when the executioner ended, I was in two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Absolutely, you were. Do you want a stone for the guard patrol? No, it's fine. Okay. Um,. <laughs> Fluffernutter is going to take a uh, broken down rifle shot on the Bokor who relents. I'm on negatives twist because of concealment. I hit. No trigger. Three cards. Black Joker. Aww. Um, I don't want to die to Dashel, so I am going to go one, two, three. Four, five, six. Fluffer Nutter is done. Okay. Let's go ahead and go with this guard patrol up here. Mm -hmm. We're just going to protect my orderly. So let's go ahead and charge. And I'll just charge Fluffer Nutter and be able to protect the orderly. I think they're one inch. Yeah, they don't want to treat you. Um, oh, shoot. At the start of this turn, did we do pass tokens? Uh, no, I think we're off on that. All right. Um, one, two. You killed Sammy, so I had Sammy, one, two, three, four, five. I had six, and you had Dashel, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we had no pass tokens. I think we were tied. All right, guard patrol, charge. One, you had two, a second three, guard patrol, four. I'm sorry. That's one for me. Okay, um, we'll go ahead and take a swing. You successfully hit Fluffer Nutter. Okay, so that is a minus flip for two damage. Takes two. I. Ay, ay. Go ahead and swing again. It's a, oh, you've already gone, so I'm a five set, so I am a 13. I am at a 14. All right, that'll miss. Um, I don't need to creep along, so we're done. Okay. So I will go with the Swine Cursed before Dashiell catches him. One, two... Three, going to stay out of I'm just range it like that. I mean, like that. I'm going to walk there, gain a focus because of that swagger I have. I'm going to scare Bo Peep with. Frightening reminder, needing a five, getting it. Bo Peep is pushed four inches away. One, two, three, four. Swine Curse is going to charge. One, two, three, four, boop, into base. I'm going to attack the orderly, and I will spend focus. 
Uh, because you are cheaper than me, I will build in a crow for Rampage. Okay. Swing. 19? Uh, whatever. Orderly is 5, so 15. All right, 19 to 15 will be a straight after focus. Are you hard to wound? Yes, I am hard to wound. Negative twist. 2 damage. Okay. I will then push through you. And you will take a TN13 move duel or suffer a damage. Okay, seven. Uh, he dies. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And then on. fast action. You're summoned, so it can't go on you. So it goes to you. I will walk to the strategy marker. I see Bo Peep. I took a damage. I damaged an enemy model. I heal one. And I walked again, so I swagger again. Swankhurst is done. Okay, um, let's go with Dashel. Mm -hmm. He's just going to charge the Bokor. Mm -hmm. So, two, two, that's good enough. And here we go, swing. 18. 18, I am at a 15. Yeah, 15. Okay, minus flip for a week of three. I am at one. Okay, um, I will go ahead and just second slice, so I just need a six. Mm -hmm. That'll fail. We'll try to second slice again. That'll no. fail. No. Done. No. That's ridiculous. I call bull hockey on that. You have not played me, apparently. Uh, Trust no. me, this is normal luck for me. This is I, pretty normal I, luck for me. I, I, I truly have no words right now. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop that. Um, <laughs> You're good, but go ahead. It's your turn. Uh, consolidate. Um, we'll go with oh, I guess I could do the... Mm, yes, you could. Oh, no, it's not in range. It's out. Okay. I only have two inch on it, so it's out. I, the plan was to move, af, kill you, mm -hmm. and then move. Yes. But uh, those six stone minions—they're so durable. In Whizbang. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to consolidate power myself with the Bokor towards Wong. I get it. I am not going to declare big voodoo because I can't. One, two. That's all I get. I'm still engaged. Oh. Sorry, that's not all I get. Three, four, because I'm going at half in half speed. I'm going to hmm. heal Wong. I'm going to heal Wong. Uh, I do none of those things. Bokor's done. Right, I will go with the dispatcher, I suppose. Um, let's go ahead and consolidate power. Um, I'll try to yank the uh, Bob. Try to get him out of this forest a little bit, mm -hmm. slowly. So I need a five. Hey there, I finally have a above a four, five. Um. That's good enough. So it'd be two, one, two. Okay, and we will then just walk. I don't need to go that way now, really. One, two, three, and and we'll be done. Okay. Does he have loot the corpses? I don't even know if he does. Um, he does not he have does. it. Okay. Okay. Um, I have nothing left to activate. 
Okay. I have a guard patrol left. Mm -hmm. All right. I will go ahead and I guess just shoot it long. Okay. I mean, okay. You squeal away. Is that a good idea? Uh, no. I'll do a friendly fire and a concealment. Yeah, we're just gonna move. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Sorry. I think we just engage you. Just. Although I don't want to be next to my own stuff because of stupid Wong shockwaves. Still gonna be in the shockwave. Um, we'll try to then creep along towards Dashel. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's a high card. There you go. Not that I really needed that one. All right. I, no, I'm clipping you. That looks good to me. Actually, do I? Ha is this a walk or is it a push? No, it's a push. So I do have to go towards it. So this may actually not get very far. So I have to clip it. I think I got it. I just gotta. Yeah, I think that's maybe. Okay, it's done. All right. <clears throat> that's the round. End of the round. We will both score the strategy. Um. To do to do. Claim this one, <clears throat> and I do not reveal any schemes. Do you? I do not reveal any schemes either. Okay, going into turn four, reshuffle. Yep. I'll discard that card, and I'll keep these two. Um, don't think I have any conditions to fall off. Start a two and a four. Time check. We are sitting at about an hour and a half. Plenty of time. Yeah. I will go ahead and. Well, I guess technically you choose first, but I'm going to stone regardless. I have no stones, so. Okay, we will get rid of a one. And we'll get rid of another one. Good things to get rid of. And um, you. Some. Uh, guard patrols are replaced effects but you had one guard patrol that died before it activated so i have one pass token okay swing i have a two i have a four 12 effectively 13 13 tie all right let's reflip You got it. It's Wong time. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five models. You have one, two, three, four, five models. No pass tokens. Wong's going to drop some cataclysms. Um, he is going to have it go off. He'll declare cataclysm. He will choose to center it on Fluffernutter who will take a damage to increase the damage to guard patrol. Um, actually, he will not center it on Fluffernutter because Sammy's dead. I'll just drop these two here. Uh, guard patrol will... Yeah. yeah. So patrol, dispatcher, and Bob. Hey, okay. Guard patrol is good. Dispatcher... Um. No, dies. Okay, dispatcher takes nine damage. Um, Bob. Good. Good. Cool. Um, Wong will cataclysm again. He'll fizzap again, hitting cataclysm. And I will drop this down here. I will try and pass it with my Bokor, who passes. Because he passes and pose duel from Wong, I get a glowy on him. Okay. I'll go with 
Bob he is good. Garp Troll he is fine. Or she is fine. Uh, Barker will just eat the damage and take one damage. Uh, he takes. He has armor two? Oh, he's armor one, so two. He took two whole damage. Um, <clears throat> I think our third trick is we're just going to fizzap one more time. And uh, I will cheat that in. I will declare Surge, and I will hit Bob. Okay. He's good. Cool. Then we'll do the Glow. I'm going to choose to lower the Glowy on Guard Patrol. Guard Patrol. I don't think I actually can see Fluffernutter now that I look at him. And Bob. I'm going to lower Bob's to... Well... I'm going to lower five on the guard patrol, one on six off the two guard patrols, so I'll be drawing three cards. That's sufficient. Um, I get it. I'll declare the trigger. Now it actually matters if I can see Fluffernutter. I can't, so no heals for Fluffernutter. I just. Um, Your guard patrol are both at one glowy. Bob's now at eight glowy, and I draw three cards. And I will discard that card. Long dealt damage to at least two enemy models, I think. Yeah, Dashel and Dispatcher. He heals two. He's done. Okay, well. We'll go with the guard patrol there. It's higher up. This is a die, and we will just attack Fluffer. Mm -hmm. First attack. Um, that is a 11. 16. Um, tie you at 16 with crit. All right. So flipping three. Uh, three damage, men. Takes three. We will swing again. Oh no. I'm adding 11. 17. Uh, that'll miss. All right. Um, <clears throat> we are going to have Fluffer Nutter activate. Fluffer Nutter is going to. I can walk through you. Um, I cannot take damage because I'm at one so I'm going to just walk through you staying in your engagement one two three to there and then I will attempt to oh wait no I can't do it that way can I attempt to disengage I mean, you may attempt. I will attempt to disengage. I will first go back to where I was at the start of my activation, like, uh, you know, is fair. All right, uh, disengage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a eight, so Ten. you go away. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will shoot the swine curse. The swine curse will relent. I hit. Ooh. I get the uh, magic act trigger, which doesn't do anything. Never mind. I got excited, but anyway. Three cards. One damage. Boop, boop, boop. And Fluffernutter is done. Fluffernutter dealt damage to one enemy model. They heal one. Okay. Uh, we'll go with the other guard patrol before it dies. Um, we'll try to kill your bow core, I think, with it. Mm -hmm. It's just going to maybe charge. I don't may not be able to reach for one charge, but it's going to be one. Be like kind of two because you do an inch and then like a half inch or something. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me do this exact. So if I go one, half inch, half inch, one, half inch. Okay, so it'd be a quarter, God, a quarter inch. So quarter inch. Mm -hmm. 
Um, another one. I think that that's good enough. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I think I have another quarter inch I can move. Let's see. All right. Um, taking a swing. Hiya. That's a ten. It sure is. I'm at a nine. I am not going to cheat. Okay. I'll take critical strike just in case. Might as well. So minus flip. Uh, three damage, man. Blah. And I'll drop the corpse over here. Yep. And then I will just um, move in base contact. Uh, I will creep along towards mm -hmm. Dashel first. So that'll go off. So I got my one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I can get base contact. Cool. I'll in my activation eat the corpse mm -hmm. and inspect you. I will Swine Cursed. Swine Cursed is going to Frightening Reminder Bo Peep. I will not Frightening Reminder Bo Peep. We're just going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Two there. The Swine Cursed is done. Okay. I'm going to go with Dashel and do a very exciting turn of walk. Actually, we might as well charge. Charge. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to mm -hmm. drop a ski marker. Very exciting. I know, right? Um, so that was charge, drop, have another AP. So we'll just. Charging up doesn't make any difference because it's, it's going to get picked up. So I guess we just focus and we see if we can summon a guard patrol off of that uh, corpse. No, that's too far away. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's only too much. All right, he's just done. Okay. I should have charged next to it, but it's not. The, it probably won't matter because mm -hmm. they can't do anything scheme wise. Uh, or uh, we're going to activate Bo Peep. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. We are going to crowd goes wild. Um, we're going to cheat for that to go off. We'll declare the built-in trigger. Um, so Swine Cursed is going to go doot, uh, doot, doot to there. Bo Peep goes one, two, three, four, and five. Bo Peep is then going to go Reckless. And drop a scheme marker. Oh, that's not even gonna matter. I'm an idiot. Well, whatever. It's fine. Uh, Bo Peep is done. I did not damage anyone else, so Bo Peep doesn't heal. All right. Um, just the executioner's left, correct? I'm double checking. That is correct. Just Bob. Yeah. All right. Bob is going to do a very exciting activation. He's going to walk one, two, three to get out. I think he's out. Is that out? Yeah, that's out. Mm -hmm. So three, four, five, mm -hmm. and six like there. And he's going to focus, and then he's going to juggernaut. Um, I think it's just the flip the card. So I think he just heals, right? Yeah. Oh, I got to discard a card. I'll, uh, I, I was going to discard you, you, a card. That's fine. Oh, yeah. You're fine. Yeah. You have cards yeah. to discard. I have plenty of low cards to discard. Um, I might as well cheat that and go to four to put them back to full. It uh, looks like it. Very yeah. nice. Well played. I did not anticipate that. I should have. And then claim, jump, and breakthrough. Uh, we'll declare breakthrough. And yep. I'll get the strategy point. I don't think you get the strategy point here. Nope. And to do, to do, going into turn five, time check, we are at an hour 43. Yep. We are. So, uh, reshuffle. I will discard the black joker.
Um, I don't think Dashiell's going to need the stone, so I'll just stone for cards, mm -hmm. regardless of what you do, because I don't think it's going to awesome. Oh, this marker goes away. Get rid of a one, mm -hmm. and get rid of a three. Cool beans. Um, and initiative, yeah. Um, let's see. It doesn't matter if I go first. Kind of does. So, um, you have no pass tokens? That is correct. You have one. So, I will go ahead and cheat the 13 to get a 14 guarantee. I will not cheat. Okay. I am going to then go with the guard patrol. Uh, we're tied on pass tokens now. Or wait. Um, yeah. Because we're both... Um, crap, I forgot you can do that stupid thing. So I may have to do a little bit different what I want. I can still go first, but I may have to... Executioner's probably not going to be killed long from full. As much as I would love to dream that would happen, mm -hmm. it's very unlikely. I don't have a trail of gore scheme to go off of. And let's see, what's Wong's check? What he can do? Uh, I go. Man, I'm kind of fortunate. Yeah, ugh, I hate Wong. You're stupid. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can get my breakthrough point because your stupid ability to just up, like... we get launch into space, yeah. I think I have to go for the yellow and pray I can kill him with Bob. I think that's my only play, is I if think... I can kill him, I can free up the other people to maybe make mm -hmm. that play. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Alright, um, Bob. I'm not gonna get the strategy then, so yeah. Bob's just gonna... Uh, uh, do you have disguised right now? I do have disguised. So it's literally impossible to do it. Okay, so instead, can I get to a bottom? If I eat the hazardous? At that point, I'm just trading a point for a point, though. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can get there anyways. One, two, three, four, five. I can get there. You can get there. I can't do um, And then I just have to cheat all my stupid attacks. Mm -hmm. I lose my point, get that point. Uh, yeah. Is that better? Otherwise, Fluffernutter, probably not going to get any done there. But people have to go in and try to kill Bob. Wong could arguably do enough damage, but as long as I just hold my cards and cheat everything that Wong throws at Bob, I'm probably fine. Yeah, at that point you Which have is to buy Joker. Yeah, and you have to buy Joker a... twice because of hard to wound, hard to kill. Yeah, so I just have to cheat on my hand, but that's fine. I'm not using it for anything else. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then that forces Wong to go that way as opposed to... Okay. Yeah, um... I don't... Does Bo Peep... Bo Peep doesn't have a range attack, right? No, Bo Peep does not. Yeah. So, they'd have to give melee. Only, okay, yeah. Only Fluffer has a targeted ranged attack at this point, and... Alright, Bob's gonna move, take the injured, take the one damage. Mm-hmm. And he's going to park his butt next to that marker. Makes sense. We're going to have Fluffer go. Um, Fluffer Nutter is going to take a shot at the Swinekurst, who's going to relent. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm cutting through concealment, so I'm on negatives. Just burns an extra card. Three cards, pick the worst. Hit moderate. So Yeah, less eat that extra hit. damage. Unfortunately, at this point, what is it? It is three damage. I'm just going to lower my glowy by two. 
and uh, and then gain one and just take one fast. Um, Fluffernutter is then going to charge guard patrol. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stampede. Do they have armor? I can't remember. No, they don't. They used to. They don't have okay. it anymore. Yeah, uh, I have a story about guard patrol in second edition one day. Uh, stat six for sure. Defense, I'll build in rampage. Okay. Or just joker it. 20? You got it. I think it's a straight flip. Yeah, I'm sure. Actually, it's a positive. Probably flip. a positive flip yeah. at that point, yeah. That's moderate for more than two. Yeah. Yeah. Because I made the play, did I probably should have gone with that first, tried to kill Fluffer Nutter, because I don't think you could have responded. So, yeah. That was... uh, Fluffer's done. It doesn't heal because too far away from Bo Peep. Yeah. So passing doesn't even matter. I guess I forced Wong to have to come this way anyways. So let's go ahead and go with the guild patrol. We'll try to... No, I have to move first, and then I can creep along. So we'll move first. Mm -hmm. So go one, two... Three, four, five, and then we'll creep towards Dashel. Um, actually, I don't want to go. It's up to right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't even want to because that's going to put me too close. I'll just drop it where I'm at. Mm -hmm. I'll just drop that there. Force you to have to go this way. Can't block line of sight to it. Actually, if I put it over here. I don't have anything to creep along to, though. So it's like, yeah, I can't. Positioned. If you didn't kill that one guy, I could have crept up towards him. <laughs> and blocked line of sight. But, that would oh have, well. That would have been a thing. Oh, well. He's done. Okay. Or she's done. Swine, now you may punish me. Swine Curse 2 will activate. He's just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And drop a marker. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yep, and then I will just pass, but it's not going to matter because, yeah, I'll just pass, though, anyways. So I was one model down. Uh, Bow people will drop a marker. Go reckless. One, two, three, four, five, six. Drop a marker. See yep. your second point breakthrough. Yep. And then Dashel will drop a marker. Charge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Drop a marker. Mm -hmm. And then watch Wong eat it. Um, done. Wong will activate. Wong is going to go... One out of the forest, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five? Not enough. Okay, so we do go down the other way. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to launch into space the marker. Black Joker, Black Joker, Black Joker. It's a cost. Actually, it's... It's a... Oh. The markers are cost. So it does go off. Um, but I would have removed it regardless. And I'll declare, wait, what? Just because that trigger popped up. Um, that's Wong. Yep. That's, I think, the game? Yeah, that's... I don't think anything else matters. Actually, that is the game. I don't think anything yeah. else goes. So um, I reveal, let them bleed, and get the end game point because none of your oh. models are at max wounds. Sure. Oh, uh, it's if one anyway. So you would have gotten it, even if the executioner was at full. Yeah. So and the summon doesn't count. Yeah. So it'd just be Dashel and Dashel. I guess could have healed the full if I ate a marker. I guess I should have thought about yeah, that. Well, if no more than one enemy model was at max health, so even if Dashel had healed because Bob was still down. Yeah, I meant if... Um, oh, gotcha, gotcha. 
if I so if I was smart, I could have just juggernauted and mm-hmm. healed him back to full, which I didn't even think about because I didn't think let them bleed and I just didn't process it. And then mm-hmm. if I ate a marker, I could have got dash to full. And the guard patrol doesn't matter because it's a summon, Correct. and I don't think summons apply. Correct. So, That's not to say true. that you couldn't ding me for a damage somewhere else, but I should have at least made, thought about that and made that play. So That's also why I went for the one up here, because that was the mm-hmm. mounted guard, so it did matter. Yes, um, yeah. And that's why I should have technically gone with it first. Maybe killed Fluffer, which I could have done probably based mm-hmm. on your hand. Yeah, I like what was so. the highest card in your hand? Oh, um, hold on. There you go. Okay, so the highest. What's is what's Fluffer's Fifth, uh, uh, five? So I could go to an eighteen. Okay, if, if because I had, because I, I had the red. Which would have tied. so I could tie you at eighteen. I could have killed Fluffer. Uh, that would have mattered. All right. Well, that was just a misplay on my part. So, but all right. Um, so did you want to talk about the game, or are you good? Oh, it's fine. We. I mean, I I know what I pretty much did wrong as far as like what I played wrong. Like my main thing is I just didn't go after the right targets. I went after Wong too hard because like after seeing the first shock waving, I'm like, oh crap, I have to deal with him. And I'm like, and I have Executioner Claws, so I should be able to finish him off. Mm -hmm. And I probably could have, barring that right Soul Stone for three, because I think it was exactly three health he had left. It was. So I would have killed him, um, potentially, but unfortunately it worked out, and then he would just heal the fool, and I didn't kill Bo Peep fast. I should have gone after Bo Peep. I should have, Dashiell should have dove Bo Peep. Because I was thinking, like, oh, I could dive in the middle of your crew and put up hazardous and ding a bunch of people. I should have just gone for Bo Peep and sniped her out instead, and that would have changed the game a lot more. I, I think folks are going to learn that if, if Bo Peep's in the crew and if they're playing Bayou, they're more likely than not going to staple Bo Peep in because mm-hmm. she just does amazing things. You need to kill her. She's target priority one. Yeah. I mean, Wong healed eight wounds just from Bo Peep over the course of the yeah. game. Um, yeah, that's almost his entire wound count already. Like he's at nine wounds right now, and I know the Bocor healed more. Like the only reason he's alive is Bo Peep. Yeah, um, it's one of the reasons why I think Whizbang is much more in a much better place now, even before the Errata, because all the damage you do, Bo Peep's passively healing you. You don't have to do TNs for this. Um, so. Yeah, and I definitely agree. That was targeting priority was my biggest mistake. Mm-hmm. As far as like, um, unfortunately, you just had crazy good hands. Most now, granted, mm-hmm. I get it. Once you start drawing, it's gonna happen. You're gonna have good cards, mm-hmm. but like, I felt like your first hand was just a god hand, you, and that was before you really drew much. And I'm mm-hmm. like, good god, dude. I I had at least two severes in uh, the turn one when I stoned. I drew a severe. I drew into a severe. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then Sammy drawing you a whole new hand over the course of a turn, Wong drawing half a hand once the glowy starts packing up, and Bokor drawing a card with easy surge. Yeah, like the the crew draws, and you sculpt incredibly well. Your high impact activation in Wong doesn't require your good cards. Yeah. Yeah. that's why I didn't bring Alphonse is he is super easy to hit because of his defenses are soul stones and glowy and he drains your cards. There's nothing in this crew that I really cared about you hitting except Bo Peep. And like you said, you, you prioritized hitting the bulk of my crew, which was disruptive. Like, don't get me wrong that you, you, you disrupted everything I had going there but it did kind of leave Dasho in a weird place of just not doing much after turn three. Well, I and I, I expected, like, part of it's like he's there to stall you, which is mm-hmm. fine. And he did. And then I can do breakthrough with him, which is not unexpected. That actually is kind of like, that tends to be like, if things do go around him, then he's like, okay, well, every, nobody wants to go near me. Mm-hmm. So then I can just walk and drop a break marker and easily get it. Yeah. Um, it just... 
it put me a turn behind because the stupid second slice whiff whiff Mm -hmm. because the intent was just i hit you once kill it drop a marker and then there's my first breakthrough point Mm -hmm. and then i can set up multiple markers in the background so wong's gonna have to like it's gonna force wong to have to go back there and deal with it multiple rounds as opposed to like oh i can just pick up the one at the end game and stop you Mm -hmm. because then i have four markers down so now yeah then it's impossible either or i just get it yeah yeah at that point i just let you have it and i think wong's activation just doesn't matter um you know get yeah getting getting the three models up here for markers was relevant um for i mean selection wise going into guard i didn't want to do anything marker eat yeah you'd have a ton of corpses for research mission but you just eat corpses you eat schemes you, you did a good job building something that kind of countered the pool claim jump was an obvious one that i just didn't think about once we started playing executioners with coats are what i expected because can't move you but then lodestone effectively makes you can't be moved so yeah um and I don't think catch and release really is a thing for either. Well, one. and I feel like one leadline coat is just a giant tell, first mm-hmm. off. Like, when you put it on there, people are like, mm, okay. And then they tend to target it a lot more. Mm-hmm. So I feel like they're tough enough with, between soul stoning, usually, and getting shielded from soul stoning. And then they can heal themselves. Like, they have enough going on, and the other thing is this crew has enough beef that you have so many big things coming at you. Like, oh yeah, generally you can't kill them all unless you have something like crazy damage output. Now Wong like did all the damage in your crew. He did like did uh, a ton of damage. Uh, I will say shout out to Swine Curse number two. That th- he he hit a few key points, but yeah, Wong did sure, all sure, the yeah. heavy lifting. I was, and I, I was worried because normally I would want to go Wong two, because mm-hmm. Wong two has the you know single target, irreducible. But your crew wide soul stone plus shielded thing, you could just stone any attack to a negative twist, and that is really strong when you add shielded onto it. Yeah, you know, um, it was yeah. it was tough. No, and I see the the problem with this crew. Like, you definitely have weaknesses. Like, Mm -hmm. against an armor crew, we're just like, fine, I'll just fail the duels and you'll ding me for one repeatedly. Especially if you have healing, then you're like, I don't care, I'll just heal it all. Yeah, if if you're expecting armor, like, if you... I kind of expected Hoff out of guild this round. And so I was kind of... Yeah, I was kind of holding Hoff back for maybe a different round. That's fair. So... But I yeah. don't know if I'll do it, so don't think you're going to get it if, if I'm playing against you. Not that it matters. To... Mm-hmm. But, yeah. No, like, Wong, Wong's the source of Irreducible. Now that Swine Cursed have a stat 6 attack, like, okay, now I have a thing that can deal with armor. Because Guild has a lot of armor, just generally. You have armor on a stick. You've got armor on a lot of your masters. You have Wardens in Keyword. I don't know if you would ever take them here, but... You could have, and it could have been. Dashel. I like them, but I don't. Not with. I like them with Dashel one mm-hmm. more so. Yeah, Dashel two. I don't think gets as much out of them, but I mean, there are times where armor two is good, yeah. depending on what the matchup is. I was terrified of your pale rider, and that's why I made him priority one. Um, well, it, the pale rider is in a very weird spot in this crew. Mm-hmm. I feel like, and I. Put him a little too far forward. Obviously, that was just a little bit of a... I dropped Dashel a little bit in the wrong spot and then Mm -hmm. kind of had to, uh, unfortunately, position him a little incorrectly. Um, Mm -hmm. I was probably... I needed to spread out more. And unfortunately, the crew wants to kind of be clustered a little bit to make use of the dispatcher. I think I need to just say, screw it. I just need to spread out. Um, Maybe round one, I take the shockwaves Mm -hmm. because... I do need to get up the board a little bit, and the extra walk is a big deal. Mm-hmm. But beyond that, I should probably just spread out and be like, all right, you're going to hit three guys 
probably, and I can mm-hmm. make sure that at least it's only just three checks I have to make. So that's still, you know, even if you're hitting three guys three times, that's nine checks. Yeah. So I mean, that's that's the key about shockwaves, right? Like, there any simple dual spam only really works if it's a lot of them. Like, terrifying is better when it's multiple times a turn, and then. Like, that's why Shockwaves have been so hot and cold over the addition, right? Yeah, it's just, a, and it's a luck thing, too, because it's like, if the opponent just luck, just flips really well, mm-hmm. you just don't do anything. Because I've had games where it's like, I played Raspy a lot with Shockwaving, and sometimes mm-hmm. you just Shockwave a bunch, and they just passed everything, you're like, oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> yeah, no, like, there were turn, like, turns, I think, two and three, you pass with a good chunk of your models. I mean, what, Bob has eight glowy on him at this point? Yeah, that's true. So it's like, I... But the thing is, the fact that you do take the damage after it means that Wong becomes more of a hand attack. And I know everyone says shockwaves are a hand attack function, but Wong actually makes that a reality, I think. My, my humble opinion, having played him a bit since the errata. Um... But I will say that I have been finding this kind of jockey mix is decent at something like this, where you're trying to move close. But really, the close deployment didn't help either of us. You know, I got Wong into position to shockwave you first activation. And I didn't even have to go that far, you know. Yeah. He can go, you know, there and drop them like that and that hits most clustered crews uh like corner it's terrible you don't want to do it on that but um yeah but anyway i think i think this was my my salt takeaway from this mm-hmm. is and this is kind of one of the weird things that annoys me where they they either made a mistake and then they repeat the mistake or they like realized there was a problem and then they went then they do it again not thinking about the previous attempt and my point is pandora's shockwave is a once per activation specifically because it wanted to avoid kind of these circumstances where you just insanely spread out a ton of shockwaves kind of thing and I get shockwaves do need to be in mass, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's also like, well, that's the reason why she was the once per activation because mm-hmm. they, people were abusing that mechanic and it was a problem. So it's one of those, like, how do you make a shockwave work, but at the same time, not make it uh, punishing? I mean, the answer is like, I just need to spread out, which is unfortunate if you have a crew that doesn't spread out. You're just like, mm-hmm. I guess I'm just less effective and- or kill Wong. Unfortunately, I just wasn't able to do it. Or have... Uh, I mean, the other thing is that he does require... It's going to take some time getting used to him because he does require certain tools. I think stunned is huge against Whizbang in general. And there's more attacks that just hand out stunned as the main effect. Like a lot of color. Mm-hmm. Like, think of color. I guess that's true. I don't have stunned in this I mean, list at all. It I mean, I can get it in guild, but yeah. Right. It's like, you have to, it's not actually that common. It's a master more mm-hmm. dependent thing. You can take, like, a Guardian can do it outside of Keyword, and I think there's, like, one other model that stuns mm-hmm. outside that you could tax in. Yeah, but, like, if you stun Wong, then he's not cataclysming, and... Because it used to be you engaged him, right? But... Yeah, it, and I, I agree, and that made him bad. Yeah. Because if you can engage it and just stop the shockwaves, then he's just straight bad, unless, mm-hmm. unless they gave him a way to easily get out, which is... And Maybe that should have been the answer. Is like, okay, he can just easily get out because of a place effect or something. Right. So we'll see how he shakes out. I think it's. I think he hasn't gotten a lot of press since uh-huh. the errata because you know he's not Rasputina, who's like a flagship character, who I also think is very strong. Uh-huh. Um, not Ivan or any of the other explorers who were toned down. I don't think they're dead. That's just my. I don't play explorers, so I really don't have a place. To I play. think I think they're okay. Um, I think they're in better spots mm-hmm. than they were. Like Cadmus is still really good. I mean, Brian played it yesterday and was very salty about his game. Now, part of that's <laughs> just part of it's because it's still an NPE because it's just so slow mm-hmm. and like 
he it was one of those games where it's like I felt like the game was a two and a half hour game, and I I I played for thirty minutes of it, and my opponent played for two hours of it. I think that right. that's a large part of why he was salty about it. Um, but yeah, it's still it still can be a challenging fight game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and do the report on the. Discord. Oh yeah. Yep. And um, so as I mentioned earlier. Uh, folks, if you're still here listening, um, Kyle is, you probably already recognize him. If you're watching the channel, you probably know. Uh, go check out Schemes and Stones. There's a link to their podcast, their Podbean, um, link to their YouTube channel in the description. And Kyle's actually started a 2022 draft league. So keep an eye out for some more content creator based games coming soon. Um, uh, before you go, they're going to hmm? they're going to define the meta of these matchups because we are the best players ever playing the Masters for the first time ever. So asterisk. expect a lot of mistakes. Hard and expect asterisk. a lot of a lot of like, what is this guy doing? He doesn't know how to play this crew. Well, probably doesn't know how to play it. Mm -hmm. That's our secret, Captain. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, is there anything else coming up that you want to plug? Any like local events? Uh, we just did our local event, so I don't think we have anything on the books yet. So, yeah, just keep an eye on Skims and Stones content. And we'll uh, let you know if anything comes up. All right. Well, thank you very much for the game today, and you have a good mm -hmm. one. Have a good one.